Hello and welcome to episode two of Kendall Cycle Club TV. KCC TV is our monthly magazine show made for members and by members and this month we have some amazing contributions coming up. I'm joined this month by Karen G, my co-presenter. Welcome Karen. Hi Ben. Karen uh, was previously on the KCC committee. She is editor of the Cycle Sprog website and was chosen as one of cycling's top 100 women in 2019. So Karen, tell us a little bit about what kind of cycling you enjoy. I enjoy all sorts of cycling really, Ben. Um, unfortunately, I've been ill for the past year, so I haven't been able to ride my bike very much. But when I am able to ride, I love riding with my boys and my family. And we do road riding and we do mountain biking. Um, I've done a little bit of cyclocross, uh, competed a couple of times, and I commute daily to work as well. So I just love riding my bike. And I know you're feeling better because I bumped into you on a ride last week as well. You did, yes. So, <laughs> One of my first rides out this year. So. That's great to see. Yeah, it's going to be a while before I'm doing a KCC challenge though, I think. Okay. Well, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and tell us a bit about Cycle Sprog website and, and what that's about. Well, Cycle Sprog is a website all about cycling with kids and we review bikes and we give advice to parents. Um, we're in Cycle Sprog's office today, which is why we're surrounded by kids' bikes. And um, the idea is just to really make it easy for families to get out cycling. Great. So, tell us what's coming up this episode, and since this is a second take, if Karen forgets something, I'm going to chip in as well this time. <laughs> so, coming up on episode two of KCC TV, we've got Climb of the Month, we've got Coach's Tips with Ian Childs, we've got Meet the KCC Committee Member, which is Helen Jackson this month, we've got Explore, a short film by Simon Thomas, and we've also got a film on gravel bike riding. Have I forgotten anything? Yes. And we've got our other feature, which is about my bike and what it means to me. And this time, uh, this month, Hilary Coates tells us a lot about what her bike means to her. And I think it's a really inspirational piece. Before that, then last month, we had our Climb of the Month as Kirkstone featuring Liz Boothman. What did you make of that, Karen? I thought it was such an inspirational film, Ben. I mean, I'm very much in Liz's type of cycling. I like to stop and look at the view on the way up a climb. Um, but it was just great to see all the contributions coming back in as well. Yeah, and, and we, we set a competition to either ride up Kirkston, if you haven't done that before, or to do the Kirkston triple. And frankly, I was amazed by how many people did the triple. Uh, it was brilliant to see all the photos on the club page of everyone going out and riding Kirkston three ways or just riding up Kirkston for the first time. And for everyone who sent a photo in, we have put your names in. What have we put your names in? It's a kid's cycle helmet with sloths on it. It's a kid's cycle helmet with sloths on it, of course it is. So Ben, you're going to pick the winner. I'm going to pick the winner. Okay, so let's just see who is the winner. Oh, I've got two there. The winner is Stephen Vaughan. Congratulations, Stephen. You are the winner of a KCC bobble hat or buff. And uh, details of this month's competition coming up shortly. So, Karen, tell us about this month's Climb of the Month. This month's Climb of the Month is Barbon, and it's been submitted to us by Toby Cummings. So Ben, you've ridden Barbon. I've ridden Barbon quite a few times. Mm -hmm. And what I like about this is Toby's chosen what I consider to be the less common way of riding over Barbon. Certainly less common for me. Right. So he gives us a really great insight into this. Um, let's see what Toby's got to say. So if you want to ride up Barbondale and get the best direction to travel, you come into Gawthrop and you reach this junction and it's not even the start of the climb but you're already faced with this steep lane which I'm going to climb now and then at the top of this lane there's a horrible horrible stinging section. And we are in the village of Gawthrop, Gawthrop Hill which was Featured in the Tour of Britain a couple of years back. This, the sign halfway up says 14%, but 
there's no way this is less than 20. Um, and it stings, it really stings. But once you get past that bit up there, you can start to relax just a little bit and it evens out. Lovely and sunny down the valley. And it's literally just started snowing as I'm climbing up the hill. Aren't my, those aren't my legs creaking, my winter bike. Get over the brow of the steep stuff and you get your first view of Barbendale up there. So I've climbed over the steepest bit, which is behind me, the other side of a lying 14% sign on a relative bit of respite and then the climbing starts again as you get to a corner up here. Before it does, breathe in that view all the way down the Dentdale Valley. That's the coal road in the distance. Over to Hawes and the rest of the Yorkshire Dales beyond. And now you're on to the second of three slogs on this hill. Grit your teeth and bear it. You go past this stone building. You're faced with the last little bit of a climb. Which is steep again, but yeah, it's nothing like the bit at the bottom. You get to that salt bucket I've just gone by. You know, you all intents and purposes, you're there. I mean, it's a lovely day over there. It really isn't here. Oh, nearly there. Halfway down, above down on the other side, and beautiful sunny day again. None of that snow from 30 seconds ago. This goes on for miles now. Basically, don't really have to pedal much to get all the way to, well, certainly to Barbon, probably beyond to. Kirby Lonsdale's only a few pedal strokes. You there? What an incredible film that was. Thanks so much, Toby. I mean, we just live in such an amazing place, don't we, Ben? With views like that on our doorstep. Just incredible. I know, and I, and I always think Barbendale is it's a bit of a secret. It's, it, it's, it's only 11 miles from Kendall, actually, but people just don't seem to go there so yeah. often. Yeah, shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> well, actually, you're going to ruin it all now. <laughs> because this month's challenge is... So, first of all, uh, one option for this month's challenge is to go and ride at Barbendale. Uh, you could do that from Gawthrop, as Toby did, or you could do it from the other direction. But since so many people last month enjoyed the extended challenge, then we've come up with another one for this month that we're calling the Church Mouse Challenge. You might be familiar with the Church Mouse Cafe in Barbon Village, which is a fantastic little cafe. And so this month's challenge starts and ends at the Church Mouse. And from the Church Mouse, it goes up Barbendale the way that Toby came down. It drops down the other side, the steep way that he came up, to the very beginning where we saw the start of that video at that junction. You then turn around and come right back over the steep bit and right back down Barbendale the way we saw Toby coming down, all the way back down to the Church Mouse. And then you need to have a piece of cake in the cafe. The Strava segment for the challenge is in the YouTube description below. And there's also a route to ride out to Barbendale from Kendall if you'd like a suggestion for how to get there. Send us your photos, take a photo of yourself riding up Barbon or take a photo of yourself in the Church Mouse Cafe afterwards. And next month we'll have a draw where we'll pull out a winner and the prize next month will be sponsored by Cold Dark North. And Toby Cummins is the owner of, of Cold Dark North Cycling Brand. So there'll be, there'll be some goodies from them. 
Next up, we've got Me and My Bike, and this month's film's been um, made for us by Hilary Coates. And I just love this film because not only is it about Hilary's bike, it's about all the places that she's ridden it. Very inspirational. Hi, I'm Hilary Coates. I've been riding with Kendall Cycle Club for three years. I ride a cube bike and I love the colour. It's a lovely turquoise one. Um, I love um, riding out in the beautiful countryside and chatting with other people who love feeling the freedom on their bikes to explore places. We did the Way of the Roses and that was a really, really big challenge because we did it over two days and the first day we rode a hundred miles. So we did from Morecambe to York. That was a very hard day. And then the following day we did York to Bridlington and that was 80 miles. And we've rolled up Barbendale and Kirkston Pass. And I've also been on the um, trip, ladies' trip to Wales, which was fantastic. I loved riding through all the different places in Wales, like Snow Snowdonia and things. It was really lovely. Oh, Mum, I was really um, cycling has become a very big part of my life, and I've always feel very happy on my bike. And I hope to next year. Um, cycle and um, go on the cycle trip to Mallorca where um, you can experience cycling on lovely smooth roads and where the people are so friendly and helpful towards cyclists. Um, I hope you have all enjoyed listening and seeing my photos on my adventures on. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Thanks so much, Hilary. That's such a great film, and it's brought back loads of memories for me as well, especially of our Wales weekend away last year. Next up, we've got our cycling tip of the month, and this month it's about half wheeling. Ben, what is half wheeling, and why shouldn't we do it? Well, half wheeling is, is really when um, the, the bike of, of, of one person overlaps the, the bike of the other, and, and Ian's going to show us a bit more about that. The, the reason for not doing it is that it disrupts the group and it can be very dangerous because if uh, you're half wheeling someone and they suddenly swerve to avoid a pothole for some reason, then if your wheels overlapped, they can basically take your front wheel out. You'll be on the ground and so will everyone behind you. Mm. I think it's a really good reminder actually for all of us this film because uh, even if you're an experienced cyclist, sometimes you have a lapse of concentration, and you forget about what, what you're doing, and so it's a really good reminder for us all. Yeah, it's a bit of a difficult concept to, to demonstrate, but I think Ian has come up with a brilliant way of doing it. Welcome to this month's cycling tip to help you get the most from your bike riding. This month, we're looking at some group riding skills, in particular, half wheeling. It's something all ability of riders are guilty of. And we've put a short animation together to help explain. Half wheeling is when you are riding next to a fellow rider but constantly putting your wheel or more ahead of theirs. Your fellow rider then speeds up to get their wheel level with yours only then to find that you push it a bit ahead of theirs again. The thing is always let the rider next to you set the pace. As you can see here, the green rider is always pushing on. Here we have an example on a hill. Our spotted rider is heading off first. The green rider can't match that pace. And the group quite quickly fragments. You'd be better off trying to slow down a little bit at the front and take the group with you. Points to remember, ride with the person next to you. Keep an eye on the riders directly behind you and ease the pace on rolling terrain and hills. So, that's half wheeling. Even the best riders forget to ride at the pace of the rider next to them. So be mindful of your fellow riders and enjoy riding in the group. If you have any questions regarding getting the most out of your riding, then please email us, tv at kendall.cc and we'll try and answer them for you. Till next month, have fun and ride safe. 
Thanks Ian for that and there's no excuses now for anyone half wheeling on a club ride. Absolutely. Our next feature comes from Simon Thomas who is a club member and has been exploring during lockdown. Uh, one of the things I know that's true for me is I often find myself riding the same routes and the same roads. And this piece by Simon uh, really inspired me to start thinking about what are some of the other places I could, I could ride or some of the roads I ride past all the time that I don't often go down. And Simon gives us a really nice introduction to some places that you might be familiar with that, that you haven't ridden down and I think is here to inspire us all to go somewhere different. How do? I'm Simon Thomas and I'm a member of Kendall Cycle Club. This short video is about me and all the exploration that I seem to have got myself into. Sometime last year it dawned on me that I actually really love riding my bike outside but I was spending a lot of time on a turbo trainer which many do because they're a fantastic source of entertainment. But there's a whole lot out there to explore. So that's what I've been doing. So my rides have been taking me to places which I've never been before and the tools I've been using to get me there, the VeloViewer is one of the apps that I use. Anybody can use it, anybody can have an account. Another tool that I use which is really popular is Strava and it means I can almost spy on what other people are doing, other people that I follow and explore routes that they've been on which I may have never been on and it just mixes it up and it just means that you don't get rides that are always the same for example a lot of you ride through Hincaster and a regular loop out towards Arnside did you know there's bridle ways and other ways of tackling that area so whilst making this video I am looking for somewhere new somewhere I've never been before. So here we go, prime example. I've ridden past it, I don't know, 10, 20, I don't know. I'd have to look at Strava, see how many times I've ridden past it. But I've never ridden on it. So next time you're riding through Hincaster, why don't you go and see if you can find the Hincaster Trailway. It's a permissive bridleway. There's likely to be pedestrians on it, maybe a dog walkers. But we're allowed to use it, we're allowed to ride on it. And if you've not ridden that before... <laughs> you might see that. And how many times have you ridden down somewhere? Well, you maybe haven't, I don't know. And thought, where does that go? So here we go, here's a classic case of somewhere new. I rode past here two days ago, but I'd never been on the towpath trail. Or again, if I have, it might have been ages ago. It's changed. Let's go and have a look. So let the exploration continue. So another tool that I've used to get me out on my bike was vlogging. When you're investing your hard-earned money into bikes, what better to ride them outdoors? So I use vlogging as a tool to get me out. So by the time this video gets released, I will have probably made my 80th vlog. So you could argue, uh, there's a couple of review videos in that 80, but you could argue my success rate, well it's 80 rides, I probably wouldn't have done outside. So that's a little insight into me, Simon Thomas. I have a YouTube channel. There'll be a link below. So with the dulcet tones of the A590 drumming away in the background, I challenge you to firstly have a look at my vlog and secondly, go somewhere new, go somewhere different, have an explore. Because if you don't go, you'll never know. I'm Simon Thomas, we'll see you next time. That was a really great piece from Simon, don't you think, Karen? It was, and it's just amazing what's just on the doorstep. Yeah, absolutely. It inspires me to, to get out and, and go and find some new places to ride. Yeah.
If you want to see more from Simon, then his YouTube channel information is in the YouTube description below and you can see more of Simon's videos there. Next up is our regular feature KCC Committee Member of the Month and it's a chance to get to know a little bit more about the work of various committee members. This month we are looking at Helen Jackson, who is the Race Secretary. Hi, I'm Helen and I'm the Race Secretary of Kendall Cycling Club. I've been a member since the start, actually. I was in the little meeting that Ian Charles, um, when he born the club, um, which is about five or six years ago. I've been on the committee about three years, although I think we've lost a year to COVID, so it might be four. Yeah, so anything really um, involved with competition, really, not just racing, um, it's more like competitive activities, I'd suggest, because there's lots of them with cycling. So I'd suggest it's just a uh, communicating racing and training events, um, encouraging members to race and take part in competitive activities um, and um, helping out organising local events, um, time trials and uh, road races. Uh, anything, everything. It's a tough one. Do I prefer road road biking? Do I prefer mountain biking? Do I prefer cross? Uh, tough question. I like it all, really. I probably wouldn't be exaggerating if I said every day, but maybe not every day. Oh, my goodness, there's far too many to mention because every day is a favourite day. <laughs> no, um, I really enjoy the Trans Alp Mountain Bike Challenge that I did about three years on the trot and about 2003 and it's absolutely awesome and you're in this amazing bubble of heaven because you're mountain biking um, across about four different countries of the Alps um, every day for eight days non-stop it's like a mini dream um, like-minded people together in one place um, and um, very much um, I feel very um, honoured to be involved with such great people with with um, all the same interests. And I like being on the committee because I like to uh, encourage people to, to ride, race and enjoy themselves. Thanks, Helen, for that. And hopefully it may have inspired a couple of people to actually give um, competing a go as well, maybe, then. Well, we've got something about time trialling coming up. Mm, excellent. So next up, we have got KCC News. And this month, we have got a guest newsreader, Toby Thomas. It's Toby here with the KCC News. New road rides. Thursday evening road rides will be starting in a couple of weeks that on Thursday, the 20th of May. Sunday road rides will be starting on the 1st of June. These will be alternate Sundays and there will be a, a long and a short route. Information for both on Thursday and Sunday rides will be on Facebook page and sent via email. Off-road rides. The next Led Club off-road ride will be on the 5th of June 10am from Kendall Ledge Centre with a choice of Blue Beginner, Novice 8 Miler or Red Intermediate Experience 12 Miler. Details will be on the club Facebook events section or email offroad at kendall.cc. As the club gets bigger, the committee has taken the decision to ask for help in form of deputy committee members. Each committee role will have a deputy who will assist in the area and will advertise formally soon. The club is 100% reliant on volunteers and if you would like to get involved with the club and be part of the team then please speak to one of the committee. Would you like to build confidence on the road? Kendall Cycle Club and South Lake District Council are providing free sessions for adults who want to gain skill and confidence while cycling on the road. Sessions are open for new and ex or experienced cyclists who want to learn how to cycle safely on urban and rural roads. CycleWise will provide the training sessions which will be done on groups of six. Sessions on Saturday the 5th and the 11th of June are available 
to only Kendall Cycle Club members. The following sessions are available to the general public. Saturday the 19th of June, the 26th of June, the 10th of July and the 31st of July. For further information and to book, please email info at kendall.cc. Would you like to have a good time trialling? On the 12th of May, the club will be offering to cover the entry fee for the Milnthorpe time trial for everyone who wants, who hasn't done it before. There will be lots of people riding road bikes and first timers and will encourage everyone to take part. KCC TV will be doing a feature on time trialling that evening so we hope lots of members will come along. Contact Helen on competition at kendall.cc or watch the Facebook page for more information. That's the KCC News, now back to the studio. Thank you, Toby. Great bit of news reading. And just as a reminder for everyone, then next month we'll be doing a feature on time trialling and KCC TV will be at the Milnthorpe time trial on the 12th of May. Come and have a go. Come and have a try. It's going to be loads of fun. Our final feature for episode two is all about gravel riding. I know uh, gravel riding has become increasingly popular in, in recent time. And we speak to club member Richwood. And we also speak to Charlotte Inman and Emily Warmold from the Lakes Gravel Gang, who are a women's only gravel riding group based locally. What did, you, what did you think about this, Karen? I think this is a great film, Ben. I think it really demystifies what gravel riding's about and that you don't need to go out and spend thousands of pounds on new bikes and stuff. You can just get out there and do it. Yeah, and it's really in keeping with exploring and discovering more about the local area. It's exploring. I think that's probably the key to it for me personally. It's just basically getting out the door and going right in some different places. There's, there's quite a lot of infrastructure there that I didn't know was there for riding bikes that is sort of out of the way, and you wouldn't normally ride a mountain bike on those trails. And then there's stuff I would have ridden on the mountain bike that actually I prefer to ride on the gravel bike because it's, um, you know, it, it just fits into uh, a nice couple of hours round the back of Scout Score or the back of Witherslack or, or wherever it might be. And that's part of the part of the fun for me is is, is putting a loop together that um, that uh, you wouldn't necessarily do on a mountain bike or a road bike. So you're getting that nice uh, sweet spot in the middle. Particularly over the last year with being kind of on this island, um, it's made me look at what is like on the doorstep and actually realise that we have some amazing stuff here in the UK to explore and the social aspect of riding gravel with other people for me is is really special and something that I don't get from riding on the road so much when I'm always thinking about kind of cars or for me there's a perception that riding on the road is more about speed and about kind of you know a bit more competitive. There's, there's, there's plenty of people doing it now you know there's loads of people riding gravel I guess part of the appeal is that you know somebody will maybe find something a bit like mountain biking in the old days they'll find a trail that you think oh I've not ridden that bit before I, I, yeah where's that so you'd ask them or find out or work it out yourself uh, and then go and ride it yeah so Lady Gravel Gang Charlotte and Emily so we're kind of all about getting ladies together riding together exploring the Lake District and building building some community in our local environment local area riding together. I think what lockdown has made us all realise and I think has really brought to life in Kendall is that we really like riding bikes with other people and having had that opportunity kind of taken away from us we knew that there'd be other women out there that were kind of missing that connection and missing the opportunity so we were really trying to look for a way to create a way that other women could meet and ride together like we had and the type of riding that we love to do is gravel riding I think there's something really special about having that um, it's a slightly different pace, there are natural breaks, there's less traffic, less other things to think about and you actually have more time to communicate with each other, to get to know each other. The beauty of the gravel riding is that it's slow and friendly and there's loads of gates to stop you and bring everyone together and you, we, can then, we can then stop and have loads of chat.
yeah, it's like a really uh, unique space where you can have that kind of community building. On your Instagram, it specifically mentions cake. And um, let, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, I feel like that's definitely a question for you. <laughs> oh, I love cake and I love cafe stops and any excuse to ride a bike to a cafe stop, then the <laughs> um, So uh, one of the ladies involved uh, with gravel riding with us uh, runs Elliot's coffee van, which uh, Kirsty, she's called Kirsty. She parks up at White Moss Common Car Park, which is an amazing place to start and finish a ride. So last weekend we met there, finished there, had coffee, and then I supplied the cinnamon buns. So um, less cafe stops mid route than I would have hoped, and I feel slight, like I've slightly let myself down with the cafe stop planning, but we'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll get there. I noticed that you're also doing, I saw something on Instagram about um, kind of bike maintenance for women, or I think, I did I read that correctly in the evenings? Yeah, so we um really keen to build, to equip women to be able to go out and enjoy riding for themselves more than just with our group and relying on us for routes or inspiration or helping if something goes wrong. So wanting to build up that um, yeah, independent, confident riders. So definitely one of the areas where ladies struggle with that confident is just not knowing what to do if it goes wrong. We um, are teaming up with Outkit actually um, and doing running workshop nights and they'll just be kind of really social community things, have pizza, um, learn yeah, fix fix some punches, get some tips off each other. Instagram is kind of our, our main forum at the moment. Um, so following us there is a good place to start. So we're at Lake Gravel Gang. We've also kind of got a side WhatsApp group um, in progress at the moment. So people are on there. One of the lads in our set up um, a Lakes Gravel Strava Club as well. So you could have a look on there, see where other people are riding and then just copy and paste whatever you want. Um, and get in touch with people through that. And if you want to find me, I'm Lakes Gravel. What would be, like, let's say someone's watching this and they're thinking, you know what, I like the sound of this. You know, it sounds, maybe they've never, they've been riding road and they think, I fancy exploring a bit, I fancy doing something different. Um, like, what, what would be a sort of starting point? How might someone get, get started? Well, I certainly wouldn't make any big investments straight away. So you might have um, a hardtail mountain bike or any mountain bike in the garage or the shed. So you could use that. You might have your road bike or, you, you know, if you're lucky enough to have a summer bike and a winter bike, you might want to use your winter bike for it. Um, and just go and ride some stuff. You know, you could take your bike and you could ride out to Gummer's Howe and you could ride up through the woods up Chapel House and just see how your road bike goes on that. You know, you don't particularly need big fat tyres, although there's, there's hundreds of different options out there now. Um, you know, but be prepared that it's going to be a little bit muddier when you get back and um, the, the odd stone knocking around that, that it's not necessarily going to keep the frame, but don't take your, you know, 10 grand Colnago up there first time out, maybe try out something else, that's what I would suggest. So yeah, we'll just go and give it a go. That was a really great piece about gravel riding and about Lakes Gravel Gang. I really enjoyed that, Karen. Yeah, it's really inspirational, that. Yeah. I want to go gravel riding now. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like uh, some inspiration about gravel riding routes, then Richwood has very kindly supplied lots of his own routes. If you look in the YouTube, YouTube description below, you'll find lots of links there. Last month, we had a recipe of the month. And although we don't have one this month, we do still need to draw the winner from those people who sent in their photos of the energy balls they made. So, Karen, I'm going to ask you to pick a name out of the, uh, what was it? Sloth helmet. The sloth helmet. Sloth helmet, yep. Yeah. <laughs> they look delicious, these energy balls. And the winner is Susan Little. Susan, congratulations, Susan. Now, actually, Susan, this is great, Susan actually did the double because she did the Kirkstone triple and did the energy balls and ate them on the top of Kirkstone. Oh, wow. Perfect. Well done, well done, Susan. Well, I can't believe it, Ben. We've run out of time. That's it for episode two of KCC TV. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much to Matt Deck, who have loaned us their video equipment and lighting to create the, um, this episode. 
And thank you to all of our contributors. Toby Cummins, Hilary Coates, Ian Childs, Helen Jackson, Simon Thomas, Toby Thomas, Emily Wormald, Charlotte Inman, and Rich Wood. If you would like to get involved with KCC TV, if you'd like to contribute, if you have ideas, then please get in touch with us. And if you'd like to be in next month's draw, then send us your photos of cycling up Barbendale and we'll be picking a winner next time. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Dad.